my active grade six learners. Are you ready for another day of fun and learning? You and I with Teacher Shadai. Come and join me and we will explore your favorite classroom on TV together. This is English Hour right here on DepEd TV. Kids, have you ever wished you could fly and go to other places? How about reaching the stars up in the sky? Or imagining you're a fairy? Or dreaming of becoming a superhero with special powers? Are these things real? Could they happen in reality? Or are they just fantasies? Well, in today's episode, you are going to learn how to identify real or make-believe images. Are you all ready to learn? Great! Get your pen and paper ready, your ears and eyes steady. All set? Yes, we are! Kids, I would first like to share an interesting story about a girl who lives in a small barangay in a faraway town. Why interesting? Hmm, let's find out. But before anything else, I want you to listen attentively as I read the story and I want you to take note of the underlined phrases. Are you now ready to listen? Great! Bea lives in the small barangay of Santa Rita in the town of Oton. Every day, she wakes up early to go to the farm and feed their family's carabao. That day after her morning routine, she decided to drop by her favorite spot by the pond. She sat down for a couple of minutes and talked to her reflection in the water. Her nanai had once told her about the diwata appearing in the water of the pond. Anybody who talks to her reflection by the water will see the diwata and can make a wish. So, Bea tried her luck. When Bea was about to open her mouth, a beautiful face appeared, surely not her own reflection. Because she wanted to prove that it was real, she rubbed her eyes again and again. To her dismay, when she looked at the water again, the face suddenly disappeared. Bea was disappointed because she missed her chance to talk to the Diwata. She went home as fast as she could and told her nanai about what happened. Kids, what can you say about the story? Why do you think it's an interesting story? Who is the girl that lives in the small barangay of Santa Rita in the town of Oton? Correct! Bea lives in the small barangay of Santa Rita in the town of Oton. What did her mother tell Bea about the water in the pond? Correct! Her mother told Bea that there is a diwata who appears in the pond and anybody who talks to her reflection by the water will see a diwata and can make a wish. How did Bea try her luck in wanting to see the diwata? Great! When Bea was about to open her mouth, a beautiful face appeared, surely not her own reflection. Because she wanted to prove that it was real, she rubbed her eyes again and again. Did Bea see the diwata? What happened at the end of the story? Excellent! Bea wasn't able to see the diwata because when she looked at the water again, the face suddenly disappeared. She was disappointed because she missed her chance to talk to the Diwata. She went home as fast as she could and told her nanai about what happened. A while ago, I asked you to take note of the underlined phrases found in the story. Let us read the following underlined phrases. 
Number one, she wakes up early to go to the farm and feed their family's carabao. Number two, the pond. Number three, talk to her reflection in the water. Number four, she rubbed her eyes again and again. These phrases are scenarios that exist in real life. People wake up early. Those living at the farm usually feed their animals, like their carabaos. We can see ponds anywhere. We can also talk to our reflection in the water. And lastly, we can rub our eyes again and again. These happenings can be witnessed by our eyes. However, the following underlined phrases like Diwata appearing in the water of the pond See the diwata and can make a wish The face suddenly disappeared Are events that can never happen in real life Have you ever seen a diwata? How do you think she would look like? Can a face just suddenly disappear? Answering these questions is difficult because the existence of a Diwata and her granting people's wishes will never be real or true. It is a fantasy, a make-believe idea, and a non-fact that cannot happen in the real world. Reading books, listening to stories, and watching movies can bring us to a world of reality and fantasy. We encounter characters and events that may be true or just make believe. Real images or statements are true. They are facts that can be proven. They can be experienced or witnessed by a person. When identifying statements that express reality, one should look into things, ideas, and events based on real life experiences using the five senses seeing, smelling, Tasting, hearing, and feeling. Examples. Babies cry when they are hungry. There are seven days in a week. My grandmother is still alive at the age of 65. Make-believe images or statements do not exist in the real world. They are not based on reality. They are just in our imagination. They are non-facts and difficult to prove. Make-believe images are created in our minds. They are exaggerated most of the time, and that is why they are unlikely to happen. Examples Number 1. The tree talked to the boy. Number 2. The fisherman caught a mountain of fish last night, but he was still penniless. Number 3. It was raining cats and dogs. The water flooded the city and it almost reached the clouds. Kids, do you understand our topic? Awesome! Kids, I believe that you are now ready for some fun-filled activities. I want you to get your pen and paper. Directions. Using your knowledge and experience, identify the following sentences if they are real or make-believe sentences. Just write a check mark for real and X mark for make-believe. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1. A man driving a motorcycle. Answer. Check. Number 2. A blue-winged fairy with a magic wand. Answer. X. Number 3. Santa Claus riding on a sleigh with his reindeer. Answer. X. Number 4. A mother kissing her newborn baby. Answer. Check. Number 5. A flying magic carpet in the sky. Answer. X. Great job, kids! How was your score? Did you get the correct answers? Brilliant! Just write your score at the top of your paper. Let us now check what you have learned today. Real images or statements are those that exist or are present in the real world and not just merely products of one's imagination. Make-believe images or statements are created by the mind and they do not exist in reality. They are developed to entertain people's eyes and minds. Identifying real images or statements suggests 
that there is a basis for its existence. They are seen, felt, smelled, heard, and even tasted. Identifying make-believe images or statements means believing or knowing that these images are not real and not true because they are not seen, felt, smelled, heard, nor tasted. Now kids, are you ready to apply what you have learned about real and make-believe images or statements? Let us do this fun activity. The title is, What? I can do. So I want you to prepare again your pen and paper. Are you ready? Let's begin! Directions. Read the items carefully and choose the sentence that will fit in with the statement type indicated inside the parenthesis. Number one, to make my bones strong, A. I will drink milk once a year. B. I will drink milk every day. C. I will drink milk every minute, every day. Number two. To get a perfect score on the test, A. I will use my superpowers to read my teacher's mind. B. I will study seriously before bedtime. C. I will just sleep early. Number three, to buy my dream bicycle, A, I will save money in my piggy bank. B, I will ask Santa Claus to give it as a Christmas present. C, I will get along with my mom and dad. Number four, I want to go to Hong Kong Disneyland. A, I will ride on an airplane. B, I will ride on a magic carpet. C. I will soar like an eagle in the air. Number five. In order to grow more plants in my garden, A. I will talk, kiss, and hug them every day. B. I will look after and water them every day. C. I will let the animals play in the garden. Kids, are you done? Let us now check your answers. Number one, to make my bones strong, A, I will drink milk once a year. B, I will drink milk every day. C, I will drink milk every minute every day. Answer, B, I will drink milk every day. Number two, to get the perfect score on the test, letter A, I will use my superpowers to read my teacher's mind. B. I will study seriously before bedtime. C. I will just sleep early. Answer. A. I will use my superpowers to read my teacher's mind. Number three. To buy my dream bicycle. A. I will save money in my piggy bank. B. I will ask Santa Claus to give it as a Christmas present. C. I will get along with my mom and dad. Answer. B. I will ask Santa Claus to give it as a Christmas present. Number four. I want to go to Hong Kong Disneyland. A. I will ride on an airplane. B. I will ride on a magic carpet. C. I will soar like an eagle in the air. Answer. A. I will ride on an airplane. Number five, in order to grow more plants in my garden, A, I will talk, kiss, and hug them every day. B, I will look after and water them every day. C, I will let the animals play in the garden. Answer, B, I will look after and water them every day. Great job, kids! You are doing great! Let us now have our last activity, where you will still be needing your pen and paper. The title of this activity is, So You Think You Can Tell? Directions. Read the sentences. Do you think they can happen or exist in real life? Write the word real if they can exist, and make believe if they cannot exist. Are you ready? 
This activity will only take five minutes. Let's begin! Number one. The Carion family lives in a remote barangay in the town of Igbaras. Number two. Capres live in the mountains of Igbaras. Number three. Capres appear at night to frighten the village people. Number four. The men in the sitio built houses which were made of nipa hut. Number five. Many villagers were eaten by the capre. Number six. Nell and Kael were childhood friends. Number seven. Kael's mom is a well-known self-proclaimed witch in their place. Number eight. Nell and Kael love to play at Kael's house every afternoon. Number 9. Kael's mom heals sick people with her magic potion. Number 10. She can turn herself to a bird at night and go from one house to the other. Are you done? Let us now check your answers. Number 1. The Carion family lives in a remote barangay in the town of Igbaras. Answer, real. Number two, Capres live in the mountains of Igbaras. Answer, make believe. Number three, Capres appear at night to frighten the village people. Answer, make believe. Number four, the men in the sitio built houses which were made of nipa hut. Answer, real. Number five, many villagers were eaten by the capre. Answer, make believe. Number six, Nell and Kael were childhood friends. Answer, real. Number seven, Kael's mom is a well-known self-proclaimed witch in their place. Answer, make believe. Number eight, Nell and Kael love to play at Kael's house every afternoon. Answer, real. Number nine, Kael's mom heals sick people with her magic potion. Answer, make believe. Number 10, she can turn herself to a bird at night and go from one house to the other. Answer, make believe. Did you learn something new today? Did you enjoy our class? Well, my beloved learners, that is all for now. I hope you have learned a lot on how to identify real and make-believe images or statements. This has been another day of thinking, doing, and learning right here in your favorite classroom on TV, The English Hour. This has been your teacher Shadai saying, Learn English today and your dreams are just a word away. Keep it right here on Deped TV. See you next time, kids!